Voyager XEO charged by U.S. regulators with fraud, making false claims. Former CEO Steve Ehrlich is facing complaints from the Commodity Futures Trading Commission and Federal Trade Commission from his time at defunct Voyager Digital, U.S. Regulators have targeted former Voyager Digital CEO Steve Ehrlich with lawsuits claiming he engaged in fraud and deliberately misrepresented his customers' government protections. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC and Federal Trade Commission FTC announced related actions against Ehrlich on Thursday. The CFTC accused him of defrauding customers by misleading them about the strength of the company and doing business without proper registrations. The FTC said he lied about customers' funds being protected by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corp. Ehrlich and Voyager lied to Voyager customers, said Ian McGinley, the CFTC enforcement director, in a statement about the suit which calls for restitution, penalties and industry bans for the former executive. While representing they would treat customers' digital asset commodities safely and responsibly, behind the scenes, they took shockingly reckless risks with their customers' assets, leading to Voyager's bankruptcy and huge customer losses. The FTC also settled with the company in an agreement that permanently bans Voyager from handling customers' assets, hitting it with a $1.65 billion judgment that is suspended to allow the firm to continue its liquidation to pay back its customers. This action reminds companies and individuals don't play fast and loose with Claims about FTIC insurance, said Samuel Levine, director of the FTC's Bureau of Consumer Protection, in a statement. After Voyager collapsed in July 2022, the crypto lender first negotiated a doomed deal to sell to FTX, and then another arrangement for sale to Binance fell apart. Former Voyager customers may not recover more than 36% of their assets, according to estimates. Thank you